But it is time for your main event from Green Bay, Wisconsin. It is fight night. Who is going to backlash? Sheamus, Seth Rollins. This is gonna be one for the ages here on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Rich Holland, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Sheamus and Rollins, who is going to be the fifth and final man to compete in this very five-man elimination matchup at Backlash. Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, Karrion Cross, and the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar, who is going to walk away from Minneapolis, the new number one contender for the WWE title. First, we must determine all five men who are going to participate on that night. Sheamus set in the battlefield, and here comes the man who was drafted from SmackDown a number of weeks ago. The former World Heavyweight Champion, the Visionary, the Revolutionary, and I guess now that he's back on Raw, the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Freaking Rollins! And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Freaking Rollins! Well, Seth Rollins dominated SmackDown from December the 9th till February 25th as the World Heavyweight Champion defeating the likes of John Cena, Dolph Ziggler, but unfortunately fell to Drew McIntyre on WrestleMania Saturday. And now Rollins back here on the red brand and with a new leash on his career, a possible opportunity at the WWE Championship if he can get through Sheamus, and then of course if he can get through four other challengers at Backlash. This is going to be a good one. It is main event time here in Green Bay, Wisconsin on Monday Night Raw. Sheamus and Seth Rollins set the lock horns. As we get set for this matchup, you notice that Sheamus was making his way to ringside. The man known as Ridge Holland accompanying Sheamus out to the ring tonight. This man, Ridge Holland, participant from NXT, who has now been brought to Monday Night Raw on behalf of Sheamus, his new protege, if you will, was going to be accompanying Sheamus here on the red brand. And not to cut myself off, but Sheamus immediately bringing the fight to Seth Rollins. Triple backbreakers there. The Celtic Warrior wants his opportunity to enter the five-man matchup at Backlash. And look at this. Has got Seth Rollins over the shoulder right now into a submission hold. Sheamus is bringing the fight to the former World Heavyweight Champion. Now Rollins, wait a minute. Roll up on Sheamus. There's a rope right there, but I think Rollins is trying to stop the momentum of... Sheamus off the opening bell, excuse me. Now Rollins with that rolling forearm. Again, Rollins may be looking at Monday Night Raw as a new leash on his career, but I'm sure the lingering effects of losing his world championship at WrestleMania are still stinging in the heart of Seth Rollins. And he's looking to right that wrong to the best of his ability starting tonight here on Raw. Rollins with a nice shot to Sheamus. I don't know if you want to throw haymakers with the Celtic Warrior, though. They don't call this man a brawling brute for nothing. An electric chair takes down Rollins into the cover. Will that do it to move on to Backlash? Not just yet. Again, Bobby Lashley defeated Big E and Braun Strowman to qualify last week. And then Kevin Owens carrying cross Brock Lesnar, all men who were victorious at WrestleMania. Therefore, we're given those spots in the five-man elimination challenge. Man, Backlash is really shaping up to be one hell of an event. The five-man matchup. What about the news we just found out moments ago? Now a five women elimination matchup signed for Backlash between Becky Lynch, Natalya, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, and Asuka for the WWE Women's Championship. That is going to be huge. Not to mention the Hell in a Cell loser leaves Raw matchup between Matt Riddle and Randy Orton for the WWE title. God only knows the condition of Matt Riddle and what he's going to be in come Minneapolis. We will see Randy Orton back in action next week here on Raw as he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Rob Van Dam. And also next week on Raw, Cedric Alexander to meet Shinsuke Nakamura in the finals of the number one contenders tournament. The winner will move on to April the 16th to fight Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Gold. 
Sheamus has been bringing the fight to Seth Rollins since the opening bell. Rollins has really not gotten much momentum going in your main event tonight. And Sheamus just chasing down the visionary. Rollins, I think, is just trying to catch a breather right now. In comes Sheamus, and out he goes. Rollins takes down the opposer. Seth Rollins just trying to stop the momentum of Sheamus. And get this match going to his style, his pace. The former world champion wants to punch his ticket to Minneapolis, Minnesota, and step inside that five-man challenge. Not that the four men awaiting you are certainly any bit inviting, but if war is what you got to go through to obtain a shot at the WWE Championship, well, there is a one man on the roster who isn't willing to go through that. Rollins going for a Phoenix Splash, and Sheamus nowhere to be found. And that may have just handed the momentum on a silver platter right back to the Celtic Warrior as Sheamus now is once again in control of your main event here on Raw. Tilt to World Backbreaker. Into the cover again. Sheamus is going for a lot of pinfalls here, and I'm not sure if he... I think that time he might have believed he could have put Rollins away, but how many of those pinfalls are simply just to get in the head of Seth Rollins? Is Rollins' mind still at losing his world championship at WrestleMania? Or has he refocused? Sheamus doesn't care where Rollins' mind at. He is going to take advantage to the fullest extent. Rollins trying to knock Sheamus off his game with the roll-up, but again, saved by the ropes. A whole lot of action to keep up with in your main event tonight. Rollins off the neck breaker. He's got Sheamus Go for another one. No, that time turned it out into a forearm to the back of the neck. And I don't care who you are, how tough you are. That is certainly going to do some damage as Rollins is continuing to work on that neck. Could be looking to soft it up for that curb stomp. Seth Rollins has got Sheamus tonight, a man who knows Drew McIntyre, the new World Heavyweight Champion, very well. I'm sure there might be a bit of Seth Rollins who is looking at Sheamus as if he's Drew McIntyre, trying to take out some action, take out some aggression, take out some vengeance on the man he unfortunately fell to in his mind at WrestleMania. Rollins, nonetheless, has finally started to slow down Sheamus. And he has really been all over Seth since the opening bell. Sending Sheamus back over the top rope here. Rollins goes for a shot. Sheamus counters. Rollins counters in Seguri. And down goes the Celtic Warrior. And Rollins doesn't give a damn how he gets his hand raised. I'm sure he would happily take a count out here. Sheamus back into the ring. And here comes Rollins. Going right back after him. Sheamus just running through that clothesline. Back at a stalemate. Rollins went for a drop kick. I believe Sheamus was going for a bro kick there. Both men had similar ideas. And... Neither man hit connect. Now there's a big boot by Rollins. And it's been a little while since Sheamus has been inside the square circle. He wasn't on WrestleMania. You remember over a few months ago, it was about two months ago, Sheamus went one-on-one -on -one with Karrion Cross here on Monday Night Raw. An absolutely brutal altercation, which ended in a double countout. And after the matchup, Karrion Cross took the fight to Sheamus before RVD made the save. Now I'm sure Sheamus is looking at Karrion Cross in that five-man elimination match at Backlash and is looking to not only earn a match for the WWE Championship, but could be looking to extract some revenge on Karrion Cross for that matchup a few months ago. Nonetheless, he's got to stay focused on Rollins here. Sheamus with Rollins up. Rollins with the counter. And there's a takedown by the, by the visionary. Excuse me. It's been an exciting night. A whole lot of action to call. I'm tripping over my own damn marks. Now Rollins up on the top rope. Could be looking for that Phoenix Splash he was searching for earlier, and this time he hits it. And that may be all she wrote. Is the win knocked out of Sheamus long enough for Rollins to move on? Not just yet. Sheamus lives to fight another moment. He was really in control the first few minutes of this matchup, but Seth Rollins has really turned the tides. Wait a minute. Pedigree by the Visionary. And that's gonna do it. Ain't no way you're getting up from that. But don't count out the Celtic Warrior as he climbs the shoulder off the canvas and Sheamus may want this championship match more than Seth Rollins. Rollins has gotta be thinking what's he gotta do to keep Sheamus down. Sheamus trying to fight back. A couple of elbows there and I believe he was going for the bro kick but didn't get all of it. Rollins a little too close to the ropes. And Sheamus just throwing haymakers on the re revolutionary right now. 
Nonetheless, Rollins is down, damage has been done, and Sheamus is looking for the pinfall victory here. Is that gonna be enough? As Rollins able to kick out. Sheamus gonna continue on the offense. Double underhook, gut wrench powerbomb there. Sheamus has been WWE champion before. He's been world champion before. United States Intercontinental Tag Team Money in the Bank. Sheamus has done it all here in World Wrestling Entertainment, but he wants another crack at the WWE title. Oh, wait a minute. Sheamus got Rollins under his, or over his head, I should say, and a bit of a shoulder breaker there on the visionary of Monday Night Raw. Rollins, there's a counter. Swing blade. And this main event is really starting to hit in high gear as Rollins is heading back to the top rope. Here comes the visionary dropping an elbow on the windpipe of Sheamus. But Sheamus kicks out. Back and forth we go in the late rounds of your main event tonight in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Sheamus up against the ropes. What the hell does Seth Rollins got in mind? His wheel's obviously spinning. Waited too long to act there, and Sheamus may have took advantage, but Rollins with the counter, and there's a neck breaker. What is it gonna take for one of these men to simply not be able to answer that count of three, and for the other to punch their golden ticket to the five-man elimination match at Backlash? Sheamus stays into the corner. Seth Rollins bringing him up to the top. What has Rollins got in mind here? Oh, wait a minute. Seth Rollins is gonna do the deed. Superplex. Falcon Arrow. He has retained his world championship in the past with this maneuver, but it's not enough to keep Sheamus down. What a main event it has been. We saw him use that same maneuver in his world championship reign back in January to defeat Dolph Ziggler at the Elimination Chamber, but Sheamus obviously operating on a higher level tonight. Able to survive the suplex Falcon Arrow combination. Now takes down Rollins. Sheamus' wheels are spinning now. What has the Celtic Warrior got in the tank? Backbreaker. Oh no, spins him out. Bro kick, and this time he nails it flush into the cover. Go Sheamus, and that'll do it. What a physical main event affair. Seth Rollins throwing the pedigree, throwing the Phoenix Splash, the super kick, the Falcon Arrow, the should be the suplex and Falcon Arrow. Here is your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. But none of it was enough to keep that man down. Hey, so I'm gonna chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Doing me no cap. I'm around.